Liverpool are marching on in Europe and they're all but guaranteed a top four finish at home. I think it's about time you reinforced your bus windows. Yes, this week we return to Liverpool ahead of the Merseyside derby to ask Reds fans whether they thought Virgil van Dijk had fixed their defence. Yeah, they're a lot more solid now he's coming in. Yeah, definitely. Yes. 100%. Oh yeah, 100%. 100% he has. Yes. So far he's doing a great job. Yeah, I agree as well. He's been immense at the back. Well, yeah, I, I concur with that. I think uh, made a massive difference. It is an improvement. Yes, yes, it's, it's, it's working, yeah. I'd say it's made it better, but not fully fixed the issue. Um, I think him combined with Andy Robinson has uh, helped solve those problems, yeah. Uh, certainly down on the left-hand side. Got a good understanding with the keeper. I think Carries has picked his game up because of Van Dijk. But yeah, it's, it's working, it's shouting, it's organising. They just needed someone to marshal. I think with Van Dijk, we've, we've found someone. He's uh, really assured the defence, he really acts as a leader in that back four. You can just see by the results of clean sheets that he's definitely made a difference. When Virgil van Dijk joined Liverpool, only Stoke and West Ham had conceded more away goals than the Reds and questions were rightly raised about their defensive performance. However, it seems that Klopp's team has turned the page on that episode and the general perception of fans at Anfield is that it's been van Dijk's arrival that has been the catalyst for the change. But as always, let's go to the data for answers. Following van Dijk's arrival on New Year's Day, many of our key indicators of defensive performance like our defensive rating, the average attack rating of the opposition, goals conceded per 90 or XG conceded per 90 have improved for Liverpool. So, do we call it a day and conclude that it has indeed been Van Dyke's doing? We're in a classic case of correlation doesn't imply causality. Just because two things happen simultaneously doesn't mean that one causes the other. We asked our Liverpool correspondent, Sam Maguire, what he thought had been the crux of Liverpool's defensive improvement, and he offered a different theory. Klopp famously employs a counterpress. His teams try to recover the ball immediately after losing it, which can be devastating in attack, but can leave them vulnerable to clear-cut chances when the opposition does make it through. This characteristic is usually reflected in the data by a high XG per shot value. The shots that they do face tend to be dangerous ones. Now, Sam's theory is that the real catalyst for Liverpool's improvement in defence was a tactical tweak that Klopp implemented after Liverpool's 4-1 defeat at Spurs in October. If we look through the data of Liverpool's average XG per shot conceded throughout the season, we can see that they reached a critical point precisely in this match against Spurs and have been steadily improving ever since. So what was this tactical tweak? The answer is Joe Gomez's role. We can look at his persona for signs of how exactly he has changed. Before the Spurs match, Gomez was allowed to push forward trying to make it all the way to crossing positions constantly. After that defeat, he's been asked to sit deeper, play more of a passing role in attack, with more proactive defending and blocking on the right flank, so the central players don't get pulled wide when the opposition breaks. If we revisit the defensive indicators from the beginning, we can see that in fact the same signal can be found from the date of the Spurs match in October, not only from Van Dijk's arrival. This is not to say that Van Dijk hasn't been good for Liverpool, of course he has, but according to our data, the defensive improvement was set in motion by Klopp tactically before the Dutchman's arrival. So there we have it, according to our data at least, Liverpool's defence has been slowly improving since the end of October thanks to a tactical shift by Jurgen Klopp. And whilst Virgil van Dijk represents a marked improvement in defensive quality, he hasn't necessarily fixed their defence all on his own. Where should we go next? Let us know in the comments below. But in the meantime, this has been 3 Minute Myths, Delusions Debunked in 180 seconds.